Okay, so we look at the Division 2 beta at 21 by 9. I really enjoyed the first game. It was gorgeous, fun gameplay, and an interesting premise. However, it really suffered from a lack of content and depth, and after my first 20 to 30 hours, I had played enough for my interest, and returning later on never grabbed me again. I never found myself picking this up or thinking about it long after the release date, a shame with what it had the potential of being. This had a lot to do with a lack of single player catering content and a world that, whilst gorgeous, actually felt rather empty and lacking in lore. Like background story, something that is undeniably a frequent issue for me when it comes to games set in a modern current environment, as sci-fi or historic settings grab me harder. This said, I had a decent interest in following the second game's release, and so with the beta, I was really primarily curious to see how they would innovate significantly on the first game. How could they significantly change up the world, gameplay, and story to make this release have a more lasting effect? And honestly, the beta hasn't quelled my worry that this will fall to the same fate as the first game. It's still a little forgettable, just a bit less so. But anyway, let's have a look at the ultra-wide support. Oh, and this is all from the closed beta, it's just taken me ages to get this video done. Like the first game, this has flawless ultra-wide support. Gameplay correctly shows up on the sides of the screen at all moments, and beautifully, they have allowed you to move and scale the sizes of pretty much every HUD element on screen, which means you can shift everything out of the way to the sides of the screen, or, well, have it anywhere you wish. The actual setup and movement of these elements is not brilliantly designed though, it's far too fiddly, but once you get it into position you'll not need to go back to that screen after, and maybe the full game will tweak how you use this. All menus work perfectly, locking elements to 16 by 9 but showing off more on the sides of the screen to avoid black bars, and the map screen uses the entire screen space beautifully. Cutscenes, sadly, are 16 by 9 with black bars, even in-game ones, which is annoying. And finally, loading screens are ultra-wide, locking their elements to 16 by 9 and filling the screen space with the background image. Performance-wise, for such a crazy, gorgeous game, it runs very well. It is a beta, so it's understandable that it crashed a number of times whilst playing, so I won't hold that against it until we see how it runs at full launch. There are a few video settings you can change, but the main graphics settings were totally locked off with just the presets available, so we don't know what the final list of customizability will be. So whilst this is running very well, and with a stable FPS in my experience, I'm still hoping that there are lots of options of making this run better with all different kinds of builds at full launch. On GTX 1080 Ti 3440 by 1440 I was able to maintain 70 FPS and above at all times on high settings. Now I do feel that somehow bits of the screen felt a little blurry, and I'm putting this down to likely the anti-aliasing that has been used in the preset, and obviously that's not something editable right now. All in all, it's a game to watch, and with the open beta out this weekend, you should try and get on and try it out yourself. See how it feels to you, as that's easily the best way to know if this is going to be something worth your money once it's out. I really would say I think this feels like the Division 1.5, as it doesn't push the boat out massively from the first. The most stark difference being the lack of snow, something that really had become synonymous with that first game. Also, a friendly reminder as always, please just don't pre-order, wait for the full reviews, because I feel this game could go either way, it could do really well, but I also feel like it has a big potential for flopping. I'm going to give this a WAF score of 4, it's bloody lovely for ultra-wide users, so great job with that Ubisoft, I hope the full game just improves on this. I hope that gives you some information on how the game runs at 21 by 9 Give this video a like if you found it helpful, and subscribe for future info. For any of the games at 21 by 9 head over to my channel, the WAF website. Hope you'll have covered it. If I haven't, then leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it. And if you'd like to support the channel, links to my Patreon page are in the description. Amazon affiliate links are there too. See you later. <laughs>
Vital signs critical. 